Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to another episode of Pencil Puzzle. And today we are playing one from Hugo B. Designer called Knocking Out. Now Hugo approached me at the weekend and said, I've made this puzzle for you. And I was like, okay, as soon as I get a chance to record it, I will record it and play it. And that's what exactly what we are doing today. So normal Sudoku rules apply in this one. And cells that are a king's move apart must not contain the same number. So I have played Sudoku, which has been restricted by chess moves before, quite enjoyed them. I think traditionally it's normally um, a knight's move away. I don't know that I've played one with a, a king's move away, but um, no, I'm sure it will be fun. Uh, the timer is set to zero and let us begin. Okay. So I've got to, um, hopefully I can... Um, to grips with the controls did have a quick look at them before i started the recording so instantly i can see this has to be a one because it's a one here or here but this is within a king's move so uh, we can't place our one there likewise we can't place a one there so the one has to sit there which is going to pencil in ones here and here all right threes just can't go there and can't go there. So threes are restricted to this column here in this position and this position. Go anywhere in that cell. What else have we got? Nines. Nine is going to be our central digit here. Which means we're going to have nines here and here. And this is going to resolve this with a nine and a one like so. So that takes out the nine from there, meaning we've got a nine and a three just there. It's that king's move restriction coming in once again. Eights have got to go there in this box because of... Got to go in the center and that is restricted by the king's move. And... Da -da -da -da, fours and what else fives fives and placed four it has to go here because of the king's move restraint Two, three, four, five, sixes and sevens here. Two, three, four can't go there. So eight, three can't go there. Just seeing that. Because once again, the king's move coming into it. We're going to have threes here and here. Okay, sure, our progress is going to get stumped at some point soon. As we seem to be flying high at the moment, but we just uh, we'll just carry on trying to keep this momentum for now. Twos are in here. Threes don't know exactly. Threes and twos and sevens. Now we're gonna place a seven here. So seeing a row here where we've only got a few digits left, which is. Um, one, six, and four. Four and six. Two, four, six, five. Okay, well, we can't place a six there, so this has got to be the six. Which resolves this, well, it doesn't resolve it, but it means that's a 1 4 pair, which means this is a 6 5 pair. Why well, I thought we could place a 6 there, although I've probably put the 7 in, haven't I? So 6 there, 7 there. Um, Realized, like recent times, when I place, when I actually place digits, it's um, getting like to a point where I'm not checking down the lines of pencil digits and stuff. So I should really be rechecking pencil digits when I'm placing numbers on the grid. And this has to be a four and a five. Okay. 
which means um, a five is going to be here with a four. Excuse me, sound a bit raspy today, so I apologize for that. Fours and fives are going to sit here. That can't be a four. Do we know where that other digit is going to be here? It's going to be a three. Three, four, five with an eight here. Eight's there. Eight's there. Eight's there. And there's all our eights. This is going to be a six, I believe. Yep. Six. And a six there. And a six there, which resolves that as a five. So we can take out our five here. And what else do we know? Um, we know that's got to be a nine. Normal. Nine. Nine. It's all our nines. One, two, threes here. Is that as a five and a seven? We know which way around that goes because the seven in the block eight here in the center is going to stop that from being a seven. This then means it's the four and two. And that two here stops this from being a two. So we know that way around. We could have placed that before possibly. Twos and threes, we can't do anything with at the minute. The two, three here, the only other digit we can place in this row is a four. That resolves that to a three, that to a two, that to a three. Threes are placed. That becomes a five, that becomes a four. Here we have the two has to go there because we've already got a two. I don't know why I placed it there before, but we did. Three, one, two, three, four, five. And five, six. Oh, no, it's not six. Again, that's probably pencil marks, I hope. There's the only place a six can go. One, two, three, four. Four. One's in there somewhere. Threes have to go here. Ones and fours means ones and sevens. Four, five, and our last digit is a two. There we go. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff indeed. Yeah. Um pretty straightforward, I think. Um it's quite interesting, like normally you'd be when you got those two candidates. Um, you can be looking for quite some time to actually resolve them. But that king's move constraint really does help you identify. And I think that kind of helps you get through the puzzle a little bit quicker than um, if it wasn't there. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hugo, thank you very much for sitting. Uh, hopefully we will uh, get to see some more from you real soon. But until the next time, guys, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Happy gaming.